What's up? My name is Matt Wallace, and this is the uh, spirulina drum harvester that my brother and I have been building. How it works is the spirulina comes into the bottom of the drum, and the water filters down through this 25 micron mesh. And then as it rotates, the spirulina gets pulled up through the side and scraped off by the silicone scraper at the top, falling into the trough and then coming out the front. A key component of this project was holding the 25 micron mesh to either side. How we ended up doing it was folding it over on itself, sewing it, and then running a, uh, a plastic tube through it to brace it through. We had originally tried sandwiching it between the plates with silicone to act, to act as a gasket, but it didn't work that well. Then we ended up just bracing it together with these with these braces, which should hold up pretty well. The other aspect of this project is the, uh, the center trough, which is a single piece of stainless steel flashing, bending in a J shape. And then as it rotates it, it should be weighed down and then pressed into it to scrape the spirulina off. This doesn't rotate because it's anchored here. And then on the other side, it, uh, it's pinned into the back so it doesn't fall out, but it can still rotate, which turned out pretty well. The other aspect back here is a, uh, an axle that we put in so we could attach a drill to rotate it, but it, um, it's a little cockeyed and there's too much rotational mass, rotational resistance for a drill to do it well. But that was the idea. If I built this again, we'd probably drive it from the bottom with motors like that but rotating by hand for for now is going to be the simplest option less parts for there to break um yeah oh another key aspect here is we we put the the mesh to either side and then we use this all thread conveniently to tension it to take the slack out of the uh the mesh if we built it again, we'd probably weave more all thread so we could tension it more. Another thing that happened is that we put some holes into the silicone. You can see some here, but the, uh, uh, we put some holes into the mesh, but silicone works really well to, to just patch up, patch it up. This mesh is super fragile and it got beat up during the, the building process. We'll probably just make a new one for the final thing. There's a seam here also, which will probably end up just safety pinning together so it can be taken out. So any debris can be put out through the bottom. And it might also just stay closed and not need the safety pin. But we'll find out, we're taking it to test it out in, in an hour or so at this big spirulina farm. So we'll see, we'll see if it works or not. All right. Yeah, that was so much easier. The bot, the, it's not, it's not dumping out the bottom anymore. That's what what the, the pins are stopping from dumping out the bottom. Really? Every time it goes around. Well, Shout out Kevin for giving us all the components for this project. It made it way more fun to not have to pay for any of the stuff for this. Um, that really made this possible. Shout out my boy Cam West for 
editing this video, making the audio sound so good. Check out his music, link in the description. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. All right.